I'm here with Dave Doss, Senior Vice President of Home Entertainment Marketing for Samsung, and I want to talk a little bit about the new SUHD TV. It seems like we just got UHD TV, like a, a couple years ago. It's brand new. People are still kind of getting their minds around it. Now you guys are up in the ante with SUHD TV. Why is that? Why, why do we need to improve it already? Well, the big story last year was indeed UHD and for Samsung curved UHD. So it may seem like it was just here a year ago, but it's been an amazing year. I think if we thought about how far we've come as an industry in that short year, the number of titles over 500, um, the market has grown to about a million units this year. It's expected to go to about four and a half times that in 2015. And uh, Samsung was able to really lead the industry, securing about 60% of that UHD market. So as a leader in the industry, we feel it's incumbent upon us to ensure that consumers get the best possible viewing experience for 4K. So as you heard HS Kim mention tonight, we're founding the, the UHD Alliance, partnering with other uh, leaders of the industry from a manufacturing perspective, content creation studio perspective, and content delivery perspective to make sure that consumers get the best 4K uh, picture possible. But then, to answer your question, Samsung always has to try and improve upon that. So we are introducing SUHD. And that really adds a whole nother level of picture quality on top of this uh, best available as uh, UHD content. And there's 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 a lot going on here. You've got picture quality improvements going on. You've got design improvements going on. Let's talk about what makes the picture quality better than it was before. We've we've got the 4K UHD resolution. What are you bringing to this new SUHD panel that makes it look better? Yep. SUHD really encompasses a couple of key elements. Number one, it's got a nano crystal uh, layer on top, which helps to uh, improve the color accuracy. It also improves the coverage by about 20%. The panel itself is more bright, about two and a half times brighter than our last year's model. And finally, all of SUHD panels are 10-bit panels. So you put all that together, and you consider that we're partnering with Fox Innovation Labs, who are actually taking the film and converting it into video with all of that information encoded as metadata. And the Samsung SUHD TVs are able to decode all that information and present a picture that is truly stunning compared to standard UHD. You know, I think that Samsung has always been uh, great about trying to future-proof their televisions. You've done that with the One Connect box uh, in the past. You talk about 10-bit color. There are no sources available for that, but the TV's going to be ready for it when that ducks come down the road. And, and part of what you're working with the movie studios right now is to bring that to us. Is that right? Absolutely. That's the key. So right now, Fox Innovation Studios is working on taking all of these films, which, by the way, are, I mean, it's encoded in film, so it has all the color information. And they're converting it or processing it into video that has that additional 10-bit depth information. And then passing that on to the consumer, you know, they can download it through our... Uh, you know, partners like MGO or some of the other streaming services, download that to our SCSA compatible UHD video pack and have the best quality 4K experience possible. Talk about experience. Um, smart TV is kind of a given these days. I mean, you have to have a smart TV. That's part of the deal. You guys have radically changed the interface that the customer gets. And so it's not just about streaming Netflix or Amazon or Hulu, it's about how you're operating the TV. And what's new this year for Tizen, uh, for Samsung, I understand, is Tizen. It's a new sort of operating system. Can you tell me what that's bringing to the user experience this year? Sure. We're very excited to announce that all of our smart UHD TVs in 2015 will feature the Tizen operating system. Now, Samsung has been the leader in the smart TV business for the past seven or eight years. So we have a lot of learnings over the prior uh, models. One of the big changes and the benefit for consumer is that we've migrated from what was a separate panel experience to pulling all of the most frequently used apps up to a, a nice little bar along the bottom so they can very quickly and easily navigate to their most frequently used apps or providers. But you also hit upon a key element, and that is our uh, natural flow or four-point navigation system, which is very intuitive and easy for customers to, to, again, control channel or volume or get to the content that they want very quickly and easily. You know, sort of a side note, I talked to a uh, Digital Trends app developer, and I said, these guys are changing their entire interface from one year to the next. Are the, the, uh, the services like Netflix and Hula, are they going to be quick to turn those apps around? It turns out 
it's very easy for them to migrate from the previous interface to the new interface. So uh, we can expect to see lots of apps in the in the new Tizen interface when it comes around. Absolutely, all of the great apps that that really help differentiate Samsung's platform. Of course, in addition to the ones that are pervasive throughout the industry, are available on the Tizen platform. And another benefit to the consumer of Tizen is that there are other Samsung devices that feature the Tizen operating system. I actually wanted to talk about that for a second because Tizen is an, an entire operating system. So beyond maybe television, are we going to see Tizen breaking into other Samsung devices? Maybe, you know, taking a step away from Android and looking at something that Samsung owns from the top down? Well, unfortunately, I can only comment upon home entertainment products like TVs, but we have Samsung has already introduced uh, gear watches in the market that run off of Tizen OS. Um, so, it, uh, you know, it is something that I can focus on the TV to say that if that happens in the future, there will be a great connectivity story. But even with other operating systems like Android, uh, when you pair Tizen operating system on the TV with Bluetooth low power uh, capability, we're able to auto sense Samsung mobile devices in the vicinity of the TV and basically with the touch of one button easily pair and share content between the TV and the mobile device. So great connectivity story for the consumer. And of course, I mean, it, it's, it's great that you can do all these fancy things with the television, but it needs to look good too. You guys have done a lot to change the design of the television over the over the last couple of years. I think this is the most radical change you guys have, have done to a television. So. Uh, SUHD, there's some small differences between the high-end versions and, and some of the ones under it, but can you kind of take me through the chamfer bezel and some of the other stuff that's happening here? Absolutely. Caleb, you hit the nail on the head. It's, it's Of course, picture quality is the first and foremost thing that consumers consider, but design and aesthetics is so important. You know, for uh, nine years now, Samsung's been the leader in the U.S. Uh, market for TVs. And one of the great insights we drew is that consumers want a set that looks as good off as it does on. They want something that can be the focal point of their living room. With the SUHD, we've introduced a chamfered bezel, which adds an element of depth. And at the same time, we've drawn really from uh, classical architecture and art to introduce a shearing design on the back so that it looks as amazing from any angle, and whether it's off or on, it's a stunning addition to your living room. Right, because you might put it on a stand, you might hang it on the wall, but with that curved design, you can see the back of the TV as well as the front. And sharing, is that, that's like a sewing term or something? Yeah, Where's you that? Know, yeah, I had, to, I had to look that one up too. It's uh, when you bunch up material. So the easiest way for the, for the consumers to visualize it is think of those classical Greek columns. You had the uh, kind of scallop design. That's the effect that we have with the shearing uh, back. Well, you know, we, we talk about how CES is the groundbreaking dates for seeing what's new coming throughout the year. I think we're seeing a lot new coming from Samsung in the world of televisions, and I appreciate your talking to us about that. Thank you, Caleb. It's uh, been a pleasure to speak with you.